Okay, just doing a quick video here. Um, we have a lot of users on the Steam forums and, and the other one that don't want to deal with the ship designer. So I'm going to do a quick guide on that, uh, how to do it quickly without tinkering forever with it. And then uh, I'll also kind of cover uh, you know thing quick thing about tooltips. So I am going to reload a save. Thought I had loaded, but I saw that it was advanced one turn. All right. And uh, just let me know if I'm missing something here, because uh, I found a fleet that was quite dangerous uh, for your uh, fleet here. So I assume it's the one that comes out of this uh, portal here. So I'm going to advance the turn. OK. And then two fleets come out of this portal here. And uh, for kind of one of the examples, I'll, I'll just you know do a, a little cheat on it. So I have the cheat council up. Oh, that is loud just for testing purposes. So what I might do is I might just uh, clone this fleet here, just so I have something to, you know, kind of compare with. And then I'll clone this one as well. That way I can test it, but not have to reload the save every single time. That's the only reason I'm doing it. All right, so in this particular example here, we have this fleet here is up against to this the small fleet of 10 ships. So if you come in here, you're like, well, wait a minute, why is why is this fleet here lose to this puny little fleet there? Uh, there's a couple ways of looking at that, but uh, we'll just, as a point of comparison, we'll just run this battle here. Um, uh, control here, just kind of see where we're starting, what we're starting with. So I'm looking at a battle here, you know, I can see, okay, they got heavy beams, <laughs> they hurt. And uh, the fighter's target priority is to kill frigates, cruisers, then battleships, and they will skip your fighters. In fact, I think I was a little bit wrong. You, you can't, kind of, ooh, there's some lightning. And I'm always, that's why I always look at these uh, logs and these battles, because then you can kind of see things. Oops. That uh, could be going on here. Okay, so um, it, it ended before total annihilation, but, you know, they did quite well. They only lost two fighters and a uh, uh, assault, which is a frigate. I'm not sure. So I'm just waiting for this to calculate, and I'll just destroy my fleet here. I think this is the one, okay. So we'll come back to this. I just wanted to so just have a place to start. And then we'll come to the ship designer. Now, I do not spend, or on stream, I might spend a lot more time playing with it. Because I'm tinkering with stuff for testing. <laughs> Jeez, my guild leader <laughs> just popped into chat. <laughs> oh, funny. <laughs> yeah, I should pop it one of these days. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, showing some stuff. So, uh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, and I don't edit my videos, so that it will be live. <laughs> oh, is it said to every... Oh, then you probably see me all the time. Yeah. Ah, oh, one of these like get back to Final Fantasy. All right. <laughs> all right. Sorry, I got, got sidetracked there. So, okay. So, uh, in the ship designer here... Um. I will just destroy these designs here real quick.
All right. So I, I'm going to come to. Oh yeah, not not a problem, Charlotte. Um, so I'm going to create a uh, fighter. And uh, uh, by the way, uh, so so three or four. Okay, sorry. We're just um, all right. So I'm going to design a fighter here. And I, I don't want to mess, you know, you can use the default designs, but uh, they will generally work, but not uh, very, you know, to, like forever. They There's a lot of reasons why you may struggle using the ones I give you. So I'm going to click new design, and then I'm going to click fighter, start new design. Okay, and then I'm going to go in and... Click on, you can pick it whichever design that you want, just something uh, here. So we'll do this little fighter here. And then I'm gonna click equip. You know, just, you gotta just pick one, then click equip. Go, And then uh, if you don't wanna mess with it, what I would do is I take half of this, uh, you have 17 um, mass here. Uh, so like eight. Um, and then I would just drop in armor until you get to eight. And I just double click on the, <laughs> I did pick the ugliest of all the designs. Um, so yeah, just drop, I just drop in a you know, bunch of uh, armor. Uh, Cause armor's cheap. It's not necessarily better than shields. It's just cheaper. Uh, so uh, do about half. So, and then I back it up and then I build, I back up one and then I build the uh, shields. Okay. And then for weapons, I just come in here and I go to pulse cannons and I just double click on it until I'm maxed out. Okay. And then I save. We'll just do a one. Okay. New design. We're going to do frigate start new design. And we'll do this one. Is this a frigate or a cruiser? It looks, oh, it is a frigate, okay. And then I will do same same thing. I'm gonna do four of these. It gets to 12, back up one, go barrier fields. And then uh, this one I'll do beams. Okay, save. We'll call this A2, and then repeat, and we'll do a cruiser start, and then I'll do uh, this, this one, equip, and carbon crystal plating, I don't even know what half is, good enough, there you're and then rest, uh, probably do like half missiles and half well not you like I, I just I don't spend any time. I don't sit you could sit here and you can place all these and you can put them wherever you want and make it look pretty, or you could just double click and just let it uh, show up. Save and then we'll call it A3. Okay, so I got my three designs. Now I'm gonna use the cheat console because I, um, I don't want to take like an hour to build all the stuff, fly it all, all over here and stuff like that. Um, I'll just spawn them in uh, A1. Four. I'll do A2. Helps if I can type. A3. Uh, fan frit. Spawning. 
Okay. So this is probably overkill for this little fleet here. Uh, I'll send this one over here to this fleet here. This is just a minimal fleet, but it looks like from your game you can build them very quickly. So we'll just send this over to this uh, really dangerous fleet here. So according to this, you know, the, even though I have one less ship, you know, and I'm behind in beam tech, uh, I should be able to destroy it. So let's watch the battle. And then I'll do the thing on tooltips. So. Okay, these results look a little skewed right now. Come on. Oh, is this going to be like RNG just beats me? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. That one should have... That one actually has done way better than that one did, but uh, come on. <laughs> Let's not see some RNG mess with us here. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> so, I was, I was a little worried there. <laughs> but, you know, very quickly. So, you know, they did way better than that fleet, that really large fleet that you had. And, you know, it scales up. I mean, this they'll, they'll kind of smoke these. Yeah, Charlotte, uh, <laughs> it's part of the reason why I haven't been on Final Fantasy is I've been playing this. I love this game. So, okay. All right. So, so real quick on tooltips. Um, you can, yeah, oh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, go double click on the, uh, on the fleet here. Uh, not yet. Uh, they are going to be coming out with a multiplayer update somewhat soon, but, uh, it will be. Okay. So, uh, real quick, the, you can double click on a fleet like I did here. And this will bring up all the ships in the fleet. And then you can double click or click on a ship. And then let's say I want to see, okay, what, like you see this combat rating number, this tells you absolutely nothing. Uh, you know, the combat rating, it, it like the six is meaningless. It's, it, it's really weird because it averages out. You'll add ships to your fleet and your, your fleet's combat rating will go down. It, it doesn't. So don't ignore that. Just uh, when you click on it, hold down the shift key. There's a shift modifier, hold down the shift key, and then hover over the combat rating. And then you can see, okay, this has 55 beam attack. And then you can see what they have on them. They have disruptor banks, which right now your, uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, so so it's uh you can see the uh I'm reading the chat too. Um so you can see that they have uh disruptor beams, uh seven disruptor banks on them. And tech wise, uh, I think you're on plasma pods, which is a full tech behind. And then you can also see like these are all the things that they've researched getting up to that point and stuff like that. So um this is why this is how you can kind of determine like okay why is this ai fleet so much stronger than mine you know i can do shields and then these have armor on them too which if uh i think you're matched on armor i think both of you are on carving crystal plating but i think you built your fleet a lot earlier so the the fleet that i showed earlier that i was getting rocked i think is older 
So we have carbon crystal plating. Uh, is beam weapon specializations? No, it's not uh, Torian specific. It's uh, you can go to the research screen and this screen doesn't tell you a whole lot. I like to go a tech navigator and then I can go to uh, th here. So, so the, I'll show you where the Torians I can change using cheats. I can switch my player to the uh, Torians. Oh, they all, all races have this. Uh, it, it's what they research. So they, so uh, on here, you can kind of see what you research here. Um, so your beam tech uh, oh, is right, right uh, here. This is about as far as you got here. You just unlock plasma pods and then they're um, right here. So uh, you're at high energy plasma. So using cheats, I'm gonna go to local player, Five, I think, is the Torrents. Back out of that. And now, oh, <laughs> my fleets are destroying the AI now. Because now the AI is controlling you. Oh, they're doing volleys. <laughs> Jeez, they just volleyed it to death. I, that's actually... Okay, great to see. Okay, so now I'm playing the Torians. Go to Tech Navigator. And I can see... Now remember, you're right here. This is where you are in tech. But the Torians are way down here. They're about to unlock... They're almost two full uh, tech tiers or weapon tiers above you. Uh, five or five researches. So, so that's kind of what's going on now. Now, I mean, one of the things too is uh, uh, in your in your uh, game you have a lot of economic techs. So it's it's really easy to uh, when I looked at the score for you. Um, or research. Like this first thing I saw, and I was like, "Well, wait a bit. How is he's just blown them away in tech?" Like, and I I could totally say, "Okay, there's like you should be just destroying them." But it's what they research. They they drilled further down in their weapon techs, um, and then you have a a bunch of other ones, which you know is fine. It it works. So, uh, does that answer your question? I know Charlotte probably has lots of questions. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I'm actually economy based player too. I'm the reason why when I'm streaming I'm doing uh battle is because we're doing the battle patches. Uh the, the latest game that I've been streaming, the um uh here. I could show you and a lot of players are actually prefer like this this whole game series was very war focused but uh the one I'm doing right now I think this is the latest one is very economic based the thing with the computer especially when you get higher difficulties you want to make sure you're balancing your combat versus your economy because if you if you fall too far behind, then then uh, you won't do well. But um, this is a the game save. I uh, wonder. I did actually record all this. It's on my YouTube. But uh, it's it's very economic based. Like I have uh, this is my influence right now, and uh, economic power. I'm the highest. I think I uh, changed something around there. I don't know why I dropped that much you know, here, so very, I'm leading in all the economy stuff. And then military, though, I'm way down here. But I've played enough to know that I can defend my empire with that, especially since this is a, a diplomatic game. I have most of the AIs are friends, and then I also have uh, um, two alliances going. So I'm not worried that my military is behind, because I'm 
I was uh, showing off a lot of the uh, economic stuff. Oh, and the game crashed. <laughs> One second. Yeah, they're they're cats, and and my economy's uh, doing well despite the fact that their uh, population is so poor in the game. Or come on, uh, they're in the game. I can show you how to. to you have to play with the uh, designer, so. Since you want that, let me go to, oh, this game totally crashed. One second. I've never actually seen it. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can totally do this. They added this in 1.55, and uh, which is actually the save that you had. It's, um, it's, it's not a new race. It's a new citizen type. So there, I, I, uh, here, let me do, since you asked about it, let me do a quick thing here. I'm finally back in game and we will do a quick, uh, civilization. So click new game and we'll do the customer civilization. The one, the little face with gears, click that. And then, um, uh, this uses, uh, AI, you, you can use AI to kind of generate a, a, a system. So, um, let's see. A race of scholar. I can't spell. Researcher cat. We'll just do that. <laughs> I can't. I was trying to spell scholarly. Um, and then you can uh, you can set up their. Uh, this is their AI behaviors. And I click scientific and then I click, uh, I don't know, expansion. I shouldn't make them all expansion. It's scientific and uh, benevolent. There we go. Okay, and then we'll come back to all this stuff here. Um, you can set up your uh, let's see. The, oh, as far as us, they, Steam doesn't want to support anyone that's using AI to generate art. Stardock actually has a library of art that they've done over the years. So they, they have trained their AI on their own art. And it doesn't actually generate new art. It picks one of the pictures that they've, they've actually done. It's just a picker. Because what happens is people use AI to steal other art. All right, so let's find... Well, you could pick two of these. I, I could spend here all day design or picking ones. I'll just pick a couple things here, and then we'll do, uh, you know, rich or militant, and then take some of this stuff off. Just I'm just throwing stuff here. It's not that this is going to be good. And then to get cats, you see the citizens here? You click on that, and you select cats. And done. Now, cats have a problem. <laughs> or they have, they have low growth, but if you have a cat on a... Yeah, you can do likable. Uh... Oh yeah, I guess I picked the lowest likable one. Um, so if you pick uh, cats, they get a approval bonus to every other race that's on the same world as a cat because everyone wants a cat. <laughs> so then we can come here, you can pick your ships, and then you can go to fleets, and you, know, you can pick colors. Um, let's do... Uh, I don't know, let's go in here and pick uh primary. We'll do like a tabby color scheme, I guess. And lights and I'm just throwing stuff, Garrett. You get, there's a, a, a lot of things you can do to customize. And then why does that look so...
Uh, they there is a couple bugged ones. It, it's it has worked the whole time, but uh, Nocturnal will crash your game. I think that's the only one that's bugged. Like if you if you do the not the uh, yeah, I think Nocturnal is the only one that's truly bugged. All right, so let's come back here. Now I've, I've entered all that other stuff, and now I'm going to click Generate. And this is where the AI is going to come in. And AI sits there, and it generates all this stuff here. And then it says, okay, pause of knowledge. And then, of course, it's very punny. Pause sensitive, unstoppable in the cosmos. In the far reaches of the galactic tapestry, a faction known as the Curious Feline Scholars emerges from the shadows. They're enigmatic beings embodying the essence of feline curiosity and intellect. Is a, uh, I could read this whole thing, but, you know, it generates a whole story for them. Then you click Done. And then it says, okay, we'll search for some of the images. Now, this one is going to always pick three images that have nothing to do with anything. It just pick, you know, so at least three. So we have cat or just a cat. We have, you know, another cat. We have a crab. That's <laughs> nothing to do with the cat, but, you know, it's one of the other images. We have robotic cats. We have cat girls. We have... This looks like they I th something that kind of looks like a cat, you know, and then you can click more images if you don't get what you want. Um, again, th there's going to be three images out of the list that has nothing to do with what you type. They're just pictures. And then so you can pick whichever one. So we'll just do a cat. And then it generates that. So then you just double check, make sure everything else is right. And then you save. Oh, man. Oh, Charlotte, do you have a, since you're in here, do you have a PC that's decent? This is actually, needs a, Decently good computer. It's only PC. If you ever consider getting it. Um, so there you go. There's my custom race. The studio should make trailer for cats and 100% facility. Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't know. I can send you a link for the whole thing and see if it's, if it's something you consider ever getting. Um, I'm pretty active on their uh, forums. There is dogs. You can do dogs. You can do... Uh, let's see. Citizens, you have... Uh, oh, and you can do ducks. Yep. Dogs, moths, and then everything else is their... Uh, um, special uh you know races oh then the killer squirrels that's they've been a staple of the series the snathy here let me let me find the old image for the uh snathy d d d d d where are they oh here we go yes Snathy. They're like, they were in at least the second game. I don't know, but they've always, one of the developers really likes the uh, killer squirrels. All right. Any other questions, Wonder? Okay. All right. Um, I'll stop here then. Let's stop the recording.